All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. This hour we are going to be uh, uh, practicing our reading and pronunciation as we read through a short story. Uh, the short story is, can be read in the classroom section. Uh, it's entitled, Tom Gets Out of Jail. Okay, if you can't find it, uh, I'm putting the link in the Verbling and the Google chat boxes as well. All right, let's see who we have in class so far. Hi there, Laura. How are you? Hi, sir. Doing well. Excellent. Excellent. Good to have you here. How about Heidi? Hi there, Heidi. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Uh, we also have Anastasia. How are you doing, Anastasia? Welcome. Yes, I'm doing fine. Thank you. And you? Can you hear me? I'm doing great. Thank you. Uh, how about Amparo? Uh, yeah, I can hear you just fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, how about uh, Amparo? Hi there, Amparo. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Oh, there you are. Yeah, you're a little quiet today. I think it's your connection. Uh, maybe, maybe so. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, Osama? Osama, how are you? Hi, Chad. I'm good. How about you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Good to have you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. How about pa uh, Paolo? Hi there, Hi, Paolo. Chad. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Hi there. Good to have you here. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, we also have Sophia. Hi there, Sophia. Hello, teacher Chad. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see, we also have Kako. Hi there, Kako. Welcome to class. Hi, teacher Chad. Hi there. Good to have you Thank here. Thank you. All right. Okay, you guys, uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and, and get started. Um, we're going to start off over on the right-hand side today with Sophia. All right, Sophia. Let's see here. Okay, let me have you re read the first uh, first little part here from um, next time. Hello, teacher. <clears throat> um, next time, down to uh, Collins uh, Collins's DNA. Okay, and uh, hi there. Was did did we have someone new join in? Oh yeah, Jack came in. Hi there, Jack. How you doing? Yeah, yeah, I see. Excellent. Okay. Uh, very good. So, Sophia, let me have you uh, read, please, from uh, next time down to Collins' DNA. Next time you come back, bring a friend with you, joked the prison officer as Tom Wilson collected his few belongings at the end, at the end of his prison sentence. Tom gave a guarded smile but said nothing. Later he got talking to a fellow passenger on the train. Where you headed? The stranger asked. Loonmouth, it's my hometown. Been visiting my relatives in Blackpool. What about you? Tom wasn't about to tell me the man where he'd, re he'd really been. He'd been away for two years for a string of bur burglaries that he and his mate Colin had done together. He began thinking about his arrest and sentence, hardly listening to what the man was saying. They thought they were on to a good thing until the police had found blood at one of their jobs, which matched Collins DNA. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, let's go to the word which. Right here, instead of we, which, you use a short I. Uh, which. 
There you go. Good. Um, next up, we have the word uh, burglaries. Okay. Remember this U R. That's going to be like an E R sound. So it's bur burglaries. Bur burglaries. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, and your last word uh, is up here with joked, and I want to try. I want to try prison again as well. So it's joked the prison officer. Joked the prison officer. Try that. Joked the prison officer. There you go. Good. All right. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next up is Paolo. Paolo, please uh, read from Tom Dint. Okay. And let me have you read down down to the bottom of this paragraph, down to he was behind bars. Uh, okay. Uh, Tom didn't think he might have grasped him up, but the CID didn't need it to be geniuses to work it out that the man staying at Collins flat, flashing his money around what the second burglar. They needed proof, of course, but Tom had no alibi, and once they had him in their sights, it hadn't taken long. They found some of the stolen goods in the hands of one or two shady characters. The police had ways of putting them under pressure. When it came to the crunch, there was no such thing as honor amongst thieves, and Tom accepted this. He'd been pick, picked out of a few line ups and pleaded guilty at court when his barrister said it was pointless not to. Not to. It didn't matter that they got away with a few jobs and he had a bit of cash stashed away. Sadly, Tom had not been able to uh, get his hands on the money whilst he was behind bars. Okay, very good. All right, let's take a look here. First up, we have the word stashed. Instead of stashed, it's stashed. Stashed. Mm -hmm, very good. Uh, next up, we have the word got. Instead of got, it's ga, got. Uh, g got. There you go. Very good. Uh, next up, um, we have the word um, this is honor, if I can find you. Honor among thieves. There we go. Here, so instead of honor, honor, it's ah, honor. Honor. Oh, honor. Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's try this. Um, no such thing as honor amongst thieves. Uh, no such thing as honor amongst thieves. Good, good. Uh, next up, we have the word uh, crunch. Instead of cru, crunch, it's cr, crunch. Cr, crunch. Cr, crunch. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, next up is uh, the word shady. Um, where did you go? Oh, right up, right up here. Give me a good SH sound. Shady. Uh, Shady. Mm -hmm. One more time. Shady. Shady. There you go. Good. Shady. Shady. Good. Okay. Uh, next up is. Um, let's go to uh, flashing. Okay, so uh, that's an sh sound as well. Flash. Flashing. 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 All right, very nice. Uh, next up is geniuses. Geniuses. Uh, gen geniuses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, give me a J sound at the beginning. G. Geniuses. Geniuses. All right, very good. Very good. Nice job. Thank you. Th thank you. 
All right. Excellent. Okay, let's go to Osama. Yes. Please, please read from the man. Finish this paragraph. And read about half of this next one. So down to when his son was born, please. Okay. The man seemed friendly enough, and Tom decided to share one or two details of his life with them. He figured it would help pass the time. Me, mom died when I was a baby, but I never knew who me, dad, was, was so I spent me early life in care, like. You know what I mean? Been married twice, but I ain't seen neither of me wives for years. Can't believe where the time's gone. Middle-aged now, I suppose. If that's what, what you are in your 50s. Thinking back, he had not been much of a husband uh, to his two wives, so it was no wonder they divorced him. He got married at 20, but was drinking heavily at this time, or at the time, and would fly into a garage after drinking, ending up in court for criminal damage and domestic violence. He realizes he re realizes now that he was wrong to be jealous when his son was born. All right, very good. Really good reading here. Uh, I only have two words for you, and you're very close on both of them. Okay. Uh, this word here is realizes, stress Re at the beginning. Realizes. There you go. Okay. And then the only other word is here. Now, there's two ways actually to pronounce this. There's the British way, which is figured. Okay. Uh, still, we're going to have a uh, short I at the beginning, and then it's going to be an er sound, figured. Okay. Or uh, the American way is figured. So it's figured. Figured. Mm -hmm. One more time. Figured. Figured. Okay. So uh, you're moving into an O saying figure. Instead of figure, it's figure. Like you're saying her, but an ER sound or an E in front of it. Fig ear. Figured. Figured. There you go. There you go. Good. Yeah, everything else is really good. Nice reading. Nice Thank reading. you, Jeff. Thank you. Okay, very good. Let's continue here. With Laura? Yes. Laura, please read from Tracy, it seemed. Okay, finish the paragraph. Uh, read this next one, and I'll have you read down to uh, here where it says, uh, the man said, please. Tracy had seemed totally focused on their child as if she had no time for him. He had accepted some time ago that he was too young and immature at, that, at the time for marriage and fatherhood. He'd lost touch with Tracy and young Tom Jr. years ago. There was not much to be said about his second marriage. Mary was two years older than him and had some mental problems which he masked with alcohol and pills. They had been together for less than a year. There were no children and Mary had not bothered to reply to his letters when he got the five-year sentence 15 years ago. She had been shocked to hear his long list of previous convictions read out as she sat at the back of the court. Maybe she, maybe he should have told her about them. Sorry, mate. What, what was that you said? Tom quickly came out, with, came out of his re revere and tried to concentrate. He wasn't used to making polite conversation. I was asking about your job. I do shift work at a paper mill, the man said. OK, very good. All right, let's go to. Let's go to the word concentrate. You added an ed at the end saying concentrated. Okay, so it's just concentrate. Concentrate. There you go. Good. Uh, now this word here, instead of revere, which would not have the uh, uh, the i here. Okay, it would. This word is reverie. Reverie. Wow. <laughs> Rever reverie. Reverie. There you go. Okay. Uh, good. Let's go to uh, the word previous. 
Uh, now, with previous, whoops, right here, the O-U-S, you want to pronounce that like a short I sound. Instead of previous, it's previous. 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 There you go. That's it. Okay, excellent job. Uh, let's go to uh, the word mast. Uh, mast. Uh, where'd you go? Oh, right here. Okay, so we're going to treat this word exactly like the word ast. Okay, so uh, instead of uh, ma, mast, okay, it's going to be ma, mast. Mast. Mm -hmm. One more time. Uh, and let's try this. We're going to say, uh, which she masked with alcohol and pills? Which she masked with alcohol and pills. There you go. Good. And the last word for you is the word immature. The stress is on the end of the word. Immature. 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 Good. Good. All right. Nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Okay, next up is Jack. Okay, Jack, please read from Self-Employed. Finish the paragraph. I'll read this next one, and I'll have you read down to um, here where it says um, jobs on his own, please. Jack, are you there? Okay, uh, let's go to. Uh, no, you cannot say unmature. It would only be im immature. Uh, let's go to Heidi. Okay. Heidi, let me have you read this selected portion from self-employed down to on his own. Mm -hmm. Self-employed, a many building, uh, building uh, trade. But I can turn me hand to most things. Tom found it easy to lie to this stranger. He did not had a proper job for years. They chatted on the, about the downturn in the uh, building industry and other things. Tom felt, felt he was managing to hold his own. Fifteen years uh, seemed to have flown by, but a lot of uh, them were spent uh, behind bars, Tom coped uh, quite well inside. As he'd grown closer to his release, he'd tried to make plans to avoid prison in future. He'd been uh, given a few uh, qu quit and a train ticket back to his hometown. As, uh, at, at his age, he'd no chance of a job. He, know, he knew the score by now, but this time it will be different. He thought he'll go oh, straight back to crime from the uh, world go. None, uh, none of that trying to uh, go straight uh, mar mar malarkey. <laughs> he always slipped back to his old ways in the, in the end of anyway. And uh, this time, he'll uh, do his jobs on his own. Okay, very good, very good. All right, let's go to uh, that word that kind of tripped you up a little bit. Okay, this word is pronounced malarkey. Malarkey. What does it mean? Um, malarkey is like a, another way of saying uh, crap or business or... Um, not not in the way that uh, we would say business, like uh, going to work business, um, uh, but um, hmm, it's a it's a kind way. How can I explain this? All right, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a kind way of saying um, not going back to any of that shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we don't really have another way to say that. We can say crap, uh, or we can say malarkey. Mm -hmm. um, malarkey is kind of a uh, an, an older word. Okay, this is a uh, the person who wrote this is British. All right, and so they might use that more. Um, but it's like going back to that same old, you know, business, the same old stuff I used to do. Okay, but yeah, malarkey is another word for you know saying shit, basically. Mm 
Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Um, the next word here, but it's kinder. The word is kinder. <laughs> um, all right. Let's go to the word. Uh, these two words here. This is grown closer. Grown closer. Grown closer. Okay, one more time. So we've got the GR and the CL. Okay, grown so it's. Closer. There you go. One more time. Grown closer. Grown closer. Good. That's it. I like that. Okay. Let's go to uh, proper. Um, proper. Proper. Yeah, it's, instead of. Well, let's see. Um, a British pronunciation would be proper. You'd have an O sound. In uh, the United States, we would say an ah. So whichever one you want to do would be fine. Okay, but yes, in, in the U.S., we would say pra, proper. Okay. Proper. Um, and the last one is right up here at the very beginning. So this is mainly building trade. Mainly building trade. Mainly building trade. Okay. So, okay, the word mainly was good. Get the L in building and the TR, so you don't want to say trade with an U sound, it's tr, trade. trade, mainly building trade. Mainly building trade. There you go, good. Okay, nice job, nice job, thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's continue here. Uh, let's see, Kako? Kako, please read from uh, Having Others. Okay, finish this paragraph. And read down to uh, about here where it says uh, walk back into town, please. Having others in one in on a job had been his downfall. It was Colin who got him arrested last time, wasn't it? He'll need the gun he'll need the gun though. Just in case of complication, just in case of complications, he he kept himself to himself on the inside. Most of the other cons were not on his wavelength. Anyway, always on about drugs, sex, and the internet. The internet. The train pulled into Lunmouth and saying cheerio to the man, he stepped onto the platform. He'd been born and he spent his early years about 50 miles further north, but had nowhere that really felt like home. This place where he was arrested would do as good as any. The first thing he did was walk to where he had, he had hidden the gun and his money to make sure the place were, wasn't changed. They were buried in a wood, in a wood not too far from a public right of way. Relieved, he walked back into town. Okay, very good. Let's take a look here. Uh, first up, we have the word unchanged. Instead of unchanged, use an ed ending. Unchanged. Unchanged. Okay, so you are pronouncing the E here, saying unchanged. Instead of jed, it's un, it's jed. So it's Unch unchanged. Unchanged. There you go. Good. One more time. Unchanged. Unchanged. Okay, all right, better. Uh, let's go to the word good instead of go, good. It's good. Good. All right. Very good. Let's go to uh, the word this instead of these. These. It's this. Use a short I. This. All right. Very nice. Uh, next up is the word further. Um, right here. 
Uh, give me a good th sound instead of further. It's furth, further, further. Good, good. All right. Next up is. Okay, this word here. The word is uh, cheerio. Uh, let's see, saying cheery, saying cheerio. Yeah. So stress at the very beginning. Saying cheerio to the man. Cheerio. Okay. Good. Uh, next up is uh, the word case right here. Okay, this is an unvoiced S instead of a case. It's case. Case. All right. Very good. And the last word for you is. Uh, let's see, in on a job. So, having others in on a job. Try that. In on a job. Okay, instead of in, use a short I. In. Having others in on a job. Having others in on a job. Okay, all right, better. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. No problem. All right, let's go to uh, Anastasia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, please read from He Would Be Back. Um, and let me have you read to the bottom of this next paragraph down to premises overnight, please. Okay. He would be back again later after dark to get their money. Uh, he left the gun there until he needed it. Uh, Tom got himself a flat after a few nights in a cheap hotel. He knew the money wouldn't last long, so he needed to get more. A few years ago, he had had a job in an old-fashioned hardware store in the town center before getting sack for selling... Oops, I cannot see... Um, for stealing from the from stealing, stealing uh, the till. He knew the shop owner was a bit sloppy about banking his takings, particular at weekends. A lot of the customers still paid cash. It was still there, and taking a chance, he called it to buy some nails. A young girl served him, but he ca caught sight of the owner in another part of the building and there was no indication that he had been recognized. He was hop hoping that the old guy still kept cash on the premises overnight. Okay, very good, very good. All right, let's see here. Okay, let's go to the word another instead of ana, another. Mm -hmm. It's another. Another. There you go. Another. Good. Mm -hmm. um, next up is um, particularly. 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 Mm -hmm. oh particularly. Oh. There you go. Okay. Particularly. Good. This word here, instead of talkings, it's ta takings. Takings. Okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, next up. Um, this is, um, okay, so let's try this. We're going to say, getting the sack for stealing from the till. Getting the sack for stealing from the till. Okay, so we're going to practice the sack. So instead of the sack, the. Uh -huh. Getting the sack for, dealing from, from, for stealing from the till. Getting the sack for, for stealing from the till. There you go. Good. Uh, next up is uh, needed it right here. Mm -hmm. Needed it. Needed. Okay. Needed, needed it. Needed it. There you go. Needed it. Needed it. Okay. Very good. And let's see. I think that's oh, one. One last. Okay. Um. Okay, uh, until he'd leave it. So uh, here, uh, give me a good V instead of leaf. Okay, leave. He'd leave the gun. He lived the gun. Okay, he he'd leave. The gun. He'd leave the gun. There you go. Good, good. Uh -huh. All right, nice job. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Let's, let's go to Amparo. Yes. And Amparo, let me have you read 
Um, go ahead and read this paragraph here. His next step down to Saturday night. His next step, uh, his next step uh, was the burglar alarm. Uh, I, Tom had used this trick before. At 5 a.m., when all was quiet, he managed to cut uh, through through the wire near the alarm box without any sign that it had been tempered with. He left hurriedly, not not planning to break in that night. The alarm sounded. Of course, he was banking on the fact that the shop owner would believe it to be a false alarm. The police are aware that most alarms that go off are false alarms, so don't take them too seriously. Naturally, the man would want a repayment to come out as soon as possible, but how soon? The old guy would ring up, and because, and because it was Saturday, there was a good chance no one would be available. No doubt he'd try turning it back on again a few times, but in the end, he'd have he'd had he'd he'd have to leave the, the alarm off. So hopefully there would be no no alarm to worry about on Saturday night. Okay, very good. All right, let's take a look at three parts here. Okay. Uh, first up, sad, Saturday. Give me a good uh, flap T sound instead of sadder, sadder, Saturday. Saturday. There you go. Good. One more time. Saturday night. Saturday night. Good, good. All right, let's uh, let's try this here. Okay, uh, in the end, he'd have to leave the alarm off. In the end, he'd have to leave the alarm off. Okay, good, one more time. In the end, he'd have to leave the alarm off. In the end, he'd have to leave the alarm off. Okay, good, good. And the last one that I want to work on is... Um, okay, so would believe it to be a false alarm. Would believe it. Would believe it to be a false alarm. Would believe it to be a false alarm. There we go. Good. Yeah, the, the first time when you when you came through and said it, you said it sounded like you said would believed. Okay, to be a, uh, a false alarm. Okay, it can okay. it can be similar, mm -hmm. um, but just how you said it this last time, we're gonna go up. Believe it. Pause to be a false alarm. Okay, okay. Uh, and okay. that's how you would make the distinction, kind of coming up with your intonation there. Okay. 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 Thank All right. You. Very good. Yeah. Everything else is nice. Thank you. All right. Next up is Amaudi. Yes, teacher. Doing, Good morning. Good morning. All right. Let me have you continue here. Uh, reading from uh, Tom set off the early hours in the early hours rather down to courage to continue please okay Tom set off in the early hours of Sunday morning with the gun in his breast pocket he 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 retrieved 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 it from it is hiding place in the wood he loved he loved the dark. It envel enveloped, enveloped him, allowing him to follow his thread. He had no compunction about stealing from his old employer. After all, the swine, swine had given had given him the sack over a few bob he pinched from the till. Uh, all the other staff were doing the same. He was sure, sure of it. He climbed, he climbed over the rear, rear wall and approached the back door. He had a cordless drill with him. He charged it up so it was a piece of cake getting through 
the whale lock. The door swung open. Tom was ready to flee, but just as he planned, there was no alarm. He checked his breast pocket for the one thing time. The gun reassured, reassured, reassured him, gave him the courage to continue. Okay, very good. All right, <clears throat> let's take a look here. First up, we have the word continue. 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 Remember that E continue. at the end is going to be silent. There you go. Continue. Okay. Now, this, this next word here is pronounced umpteenth. Now, we use this word... Um, like we're saying, the X time, the uh, you know, and, and a, a lot of times, but we're not giving a, a certain amount. Okay, so it's pronounced umpteenth, umpteenth, um, umpteenth, umpteenth, umpteenth. Okay, very good. Uh, next up, we have the word Yale. This is Yale lock. Yale, Yale lock, Yale lock. Okay, very good. This word here is pronounced through instead of through. Okay, the G is silent. Through. Through. Okay, good. Uh, here we have the word approached. Approached with the T sound uh, at the approached. end. Approached. Approached. Okay, and on that T instead of approached, it's approached. 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 Okay, now um, with the T sound, you're ending with an I at the very end saying approached. So try and only end on that T sound. Approach. T. Approach. It. Uh, approach. It. There. Good. One more time. Approached. Approached. It. Ooh, almost. You got it one time. All right. So we'll, we'll keep working on that. Okay? Okay. Let's try this. So this is pinched from the till. Okay? Give me a good L here. And this is uh, instead of pinched, it's pinched. Pinched from the till. Pinched. It. Pinched. It. From the till. Okay, uh, go to a T sound, pinched. Pinched, pinched from the till. Pinched, pinched, pinched from the till. From the till. Okay. All right, now let's try this word here. Your tongue needs to come up and touch the top of your mouth. Instead of till, it's till. Till. There you go. One more time. Till. Till. Good, that's it. That's it. Okay, and also keep working on your ED endings. Okay, with your T's, uh, they're they're uh, they're a bit of a struggle. They're a struggle for for most people, though. Okay, so keep working on them. Um, uh, next word here. This is compunction. 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 Okay, good. Here we have the word enveloped. Okay, the stress enveloped. is right here. There you enveloped. go. Enveloped. Okay, good. And our last word here is uh, retrieved. Where are you at? Right here. Retrieved. Try that. Retrieved. Retrieved. Good. Good. All right. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. No problem. All right. Let's go to Sophia. Yes. All right, Sophia. Uh, please, uh, please read from. Okay. Uh, there were three tills down to in, them into his haversack, please. There were three tails in different parts of the shop. They were all brand new, of the kind you needed a special key to open. He cursed under his breath. Brute force would make too much noise. Searching around in drawer, drawers and cu cupboards, he found the the key box. Most places had them. He forced it open and sure enough there was a tail key hanging up. It opened all three tails so he quickly emptied them into his haversack. All right, very nice, very nice. Let's take a look at a couple words here. All right, instead of forest, Okay, this word is pronounced forced. He forced it open. Try that. It, it, he forced it open. There you go. Now, with it, instead of saying eat, 
Okay, it's it, short I. He forced it open. He forced it open. There you go, good. And the last word for you is cupboards. Okay, the uh, P here is silent. Cub, cupboards. Cupboards. Mm -hmm. One more time. Cupboards. Cupboards. Good, good. Nice job. Thank you. Thank you. All righty, let's go to Paolo. Yes. Paolo, please read from Not a Huge Hall. Okay, finish this paragraph here. And read down to uh, here where it says Corner of the Yard, please. Okay. Uh, not a huge hall, he thought. Probably about 400 pounds with the pound coins and change. Still enough for a short holiday by the sea. He needed to lie low for a few weeks. The police knew his M.O. so would want to interview him. Best keep out of their way for a bit. As he came back out of the back door, a loud noise startled him. It was pitch dark, so he crouched down on his haunches in a corner of the yard. Okay, very good. Very good. Let's take a look at four words. Uh, first up, we have crouched. Let's end with a T sound. Instead of crouched, the word is crouched. 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 There you go. Good. Good. All right. Let's uh, let's try this here. So we're going to combine these S sounds. Okay. So instead of noise, S startled him. This is noise startled him. Noise startled startled him. Uh, noise startled him. Okay. Give me a D at the very end. Noise startled him. Uh, noise startled him. Good. Startled Good. Him. All right. Okay. Let's go to. Uh, the word interview. Okay, so our stress is at the very beginning here. Interview. 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 Mm -hmm. There you go. Good. And the last word for you is police. Mm, right here. Uh, so the stress is at the end of the word. Police. At the end. Po police. Police. Good. There you go. All right. Thank nice you. job. Thank nice you. job. Thank you. Okay, let's go to Osama. Yes. Osama, please read from He Realized. Mm -hmm. And read down to here where it says, uh, otherwise all was quiet, please. He realized that he had automatically reached the, for the gun. So he eased the safety catch off and waited, reassured by the feel of the metal. It was warm from being inside his coat. The noise had shocked him, but gradually he regained his composure. He guessed it must have been a cat knocking, yes, knocking something over. He could hear an ambulance or police siren away in the distance, but getting fainter. Otherwise, all was quiet. All right, nice job, nice job. Um, uh, only one one word here, okay? And it was the ed ending. You had said realized, okay? So it'll be realized. Realized. Mm -hmm. One more time. Realized. Realized. Okay, good, good. Yeah, everything else was nice. Okay, excellent reading. Thank you, Chad. No problem. Um, all was quiet. Okay, good. Uh, let's go to Laura. Yes. All right. Please read from He Put the Gun Back and read down to uh, read down to uh, here it, to his heavy pack, please. He put the gun back into his breast pocket. He stood up eventually, his knees stiff from staying in the same position. He was getting old. He thought, as he approached the back wall, while clambering up to the top of it, he noticed the wall was slippery with a coating of ice. 
strange this must have happened whilst I was in the, in the shop, he thought. His gloves failed to grip properly as he tried to lift himself up, made more difficult to his heavy back. Okay, very good. Um, yeah, only, uh, let's see, really only one word. Okay, everything was everything else is really good. So let's try the short I on the word grip. Okay. Grip. Uh, so instead of grip, grip. So. Grip. All right. His gloves failed to grip properly. Try that one more time. His gloves failed to grip properly. Good, good, just like that. All right, nice job. Thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. Uh, let's go to Heidi. All right, Heidi, um, let me have you read from his gloves, okay, this part, and then I'll have you finish off the uh, the story here. Mm -hmm. His gloves, okay. His gloves failed to grip properly as he tried to heave himself up, made it more difficult due to his heavy pack. He'd almost reached the top when he uh, fell backward into the yard. He failed to put the safety catch back on. The jolt, uh, the jolt as he hit the ground caused the gun to go off. The bullet entered his body, piercing an artery, piercing an artery in his groin. He screamed for help, but no one came. Tom Wilson died there in the yard killed by him, his only friend. Okay, nice job, nice job. Uh, let's go to the word screamed. Give me a good R sound after the C. Instead of squeamed, skr, screamed. Screamed. Mm -hmm. One more time. Skr, screamed. Screamed. Okay, very good. Uh, this word here is pronounced bullet instead of bullet. Bull, bullet. Bullet. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, next up, instead of cow, caused, it's ca, caused, caused. Caused. Okay, very good. Next up is, okay, he'd almost. Okay, so right here, he'd almost reached the top. Okay, so we're focusing on he'd and the L here. Okay, so he'd almost reached the top. Try that. He'd almost reached the top. There you go. Much better with the L sound. Okay, let me check my notes. Um, and that, yeah, that's it. That's it. Very good job. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's go to our next story. We'll read briefly here, you guys. The link is in the Google chat box. And, and Kako, let me have you continue. Okay, um, it's called Playground. Okay, uh, please read from The Cries of Children. And let me have you read down to here where it says, but she wasn't happy like them. Please. Miracle of Jesus, the playground. The cries of children playing drift, drift on the morning air. They were out they were out for the first break. Girls were skipping and jumping over a rope, and boys running around playing tag, while others played leapfrog. In the corner of the playground, sitting on a low wall, was a little girl named Sally Carmen. She was seven years old. She wanted to play with the other girls, but she wasn't happy like them. Okay, very good. Let's take a, take a look at two parts. Okay, so we're looking at the L at the end of wall. Okay, so a low wall, a low wall. Try that. Low, a low wall. Okay, uh, curve the uh, tongue up. Instead of wall, it's wall. Curve the tongue up and touch the top of your mouth. A low wall. 
Okay, all right, better, better. Um, and let's go to this word here. The word is drifted, drifted. Drifted. Good, yeah. good, nice job. Yeah, drifted, okay, Dr good. Drifted. Great, great, good job. Thank you, Kako. Thank you, teacher. No problem. Uh, let's continue with Anastasia. Mm -hmm. All right, please read from her teacher and read down to here, talked with a stutter. Okay. Her teacher had told her to join in the fun in the fun and games, but she never did because the other girls made fun of her. John Paolo, who was uh, sitting on his own, wasn't happy either. He laughed sometimes as he watched the other boys playing, uh, wishing that they would let him play with them. John was only six years old. The other boys didn't like him to play with with them because he talked with a slutter. Stutter. Sorry. <laughs> There you go. Yeah, there you go. Slutter is uh, kind of different. Yeah, there I know. It's a stutter. Um, <laughs> yeah, no problem. Um, okay, let's go to uh, like him to play. So we're working on the short I. Instead of him, mm -hmm. it's him. Like him to play. Or like, like him. Like him to play. Like him to play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very good. Like him to play. And mm -hmm. Good. So uh, let's go to the word own. Now here, mm -hmm. here you said Owen, okay, uh, mm -hmm. pronouncing a vowel after the W. So instead of Owen, it's O -n -n, own. Owen. Mm -hmm. One more time, own. Owen. Okay. Uh, now one more time. So what you're saying is O when. So you're saying when after after the uh, the uh -huh. O. Okay. So what you want to eliminate is that vowel sign sound between the W and the N. Okay. So all all I want you to do is pronounce an O sound, O, and then an N. O N own. Oh own. There you go. Own. One more time. Own. Own. There you go. Good. Mm -hmm. Good. Nice job. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. No problem. Uh, Let's go to um, Amparo. Mm -hmm. All right, Amparo, let me have you read from Like Sally. Okay, finish the paragraph. And let's see, read down to named John, please. Okay, Like Sally, he was lonely and always looking at the school gate, waiting for home time. At the gates to the school, the guard looked at the approaching man and woman. Both were dressed in the clothes of priest, priests. As they came up to him, he said, Come and help you, Father. The tall priest smiled as he answered, Yes, young man. Um, we would like to enter the playground and speak to a girl named, Sal named Sally and a boy named Jean. Okay, nice job, nice job. Two parts here. Okay, first up is priest instead of priest. Okay, it's only an e sound. Priest. Priest. There you go. Good, good. And the last one here. This is the the approaching, the approaching man and woman, the approaching man and woman. The approaching man and woman. Good, good. All right, nice job. Very good. Okay, let's uh, let's see. We can do just one more. Uh, Sophia, let me have you uh, read just a bit more here, please, to end our our hour. Go ahead and uh, uh, read from. But the guard shook his head. Finish the paragraph and read down to grateful, please. But the guard sh shook his head. I'm sorry, fa father, but you would have to speak to the principal before you could do that. It was the priest, priestess who answered for for her companion. He was looking through the gates at the children. Thank you. If you could let her know that we are here and would like to speak with her, 
we would be very grateful. Okay, nice job, nice job. Only uh, one one word here for you. Okay, instead of companion, it's compan, companion. Try that. Companion. There you go. Good, good. All right, nice job, nice job. Thank okay, you, you guys. <clears throat> Well, thank you for, for coming into class. It was great having you all here. Um, next up, uh, my next hour is a uh, writing hour. We're going to be uh, finishing uh, finishing the story. Okay? Thanks, guys. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.